little boot review today. Um, if you follow my channel, you'll know that I've had a long-standing, um, well, I've been using the Doc Martens for life boots for a very long time. In fact, it's the reason why my channel came about. Um, recently, I did a review on some smooth black. Um, I felt pretty much that did it because I had the brown, I had the black, and um, I think I'd said everything that I could possibly say about the product, really. Um, however, someone did say, well, why don't you get the Oxblood? And whilst I don't particularly, you know, Oxblood wouldn't be my natural choice, but I thought, well, might as well try it out. So these are the, the Oxblood, and I thought it would be worthwhile showing them to you. Um, obviously, when you get your replacement um, boots, you don't get everything, you don't get your um, pot of Wonder Ballsum, if that's how you pronounce it. Um, you don't normally get your warranty information, but in this instance I did. Um, and we'll have a look at that in a minute, because that's the first time I've actually had that in any of my boots. I've got my warranty number, um, which I just email through them, but I've never had this little pack, so it's worth taking a look at that. Obviously, we've got the boots, and we'll pop those out. Chuck the box to one side. Okay, so there are the boots, and we'll come in for a little close-up in a minute, just to look at the, uh, the details. Um, but as I say, these are in Oxblood. They're the 1460s, um, so a six inch eight um, eyelet boot. And for me, um, I like brown boots, I like black boots. Um, I've never particularly um, thought about getting red boots. Um, the sort of Doc Martens in red always sort of remind me particularly of the sort of 80s sort of uh, scar and punk sort of movement. I guess that was probably the cherry reds, but this sort of brings back that sort of feel of it. Um, but they're actually a little bit less red than than I'd initially thought they'd be. They're sort of a, a very sort of dark, or a sort of a burgundy sort of brown. I'll be very interested to see how they sort of age, whether that turns into a darker brown, whether it lightens, because I've never had sort of leather of that colour before. Um, obviously with the boots, regardless of whether they're the first pair or not, you get a little hang tag and you get your second pair of laces. Um, a lot of times I've found the laces to be the weak point. Um, that wasn't true on the, uh, the smooth black. The black laces seem to hold up well, but previously um, the brown laces, which these do seem to be a brown lace in here, um, have worn very quickly. Um, if you're not familiar with Four Life boots, um, maybe check out the rest of my channel, but sort of in summary, um, they'll replace these or repair these for life. Um, I've always had them replaced. Um, you don't get the choice, um, but it seems to me that they, they will always replace them. So you basically get a new boot every time you, uh, you exchange them. Um, you simply have to pay sort of 20 pounds to cover the handling costs, which isn't too bad, really. It's kept me in boots for several years, so I tend to wear these to uh, to walk to work, so I get a few miles every day, um, and it's just a really good pair of boots to sort of fall back on. Um, Dot Martins are typically pretty good in all weathers. Um, they're not sort of lined, so they're not super warm. Um, they're pretty waterproof, although sometimes you have to work a bit of the um, a bit of the treatment into the uh, into the stitching around there. I found sort of to make them sort of completely puddle proof. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're a really good deal. I've really enjoyed using them. Um, they've changed the sort of the variations on the color a bit. They used to have, I think, five colors, two blacks, two browns, and these oxbloods, and the difference with whether they were smooth or uh, a bit more oily. Um, they've now reduced it, I think, I think I'm right to say that they've reduced it to simply the black and the oxbloods now. In terms of the leather, um, this is what they call their hard life leather, and it's typically very sort of oily. Uh, it's certainly very supple compared to what you might 
know and think about Doc Martens boots typically. They're sort of the, the shiny sort of plastic leather that they quite often use. This is much more supple and oily. Um, I must say these aren't super uh, oily, but I'm sure they'll do well. And if not, they'll take a, take a bit of treatment. Um, upgraded soles, so more depth in the, uh, in the rubber, but not so much in the tread. The tread seems to be the sort of normal pattern. Um, I do find that work wears out very quickly. I say that in every video. Um, these will last me sort of 12 months before they're sort of skiddy in the wet. Um, sizing, everyone always asks. I would say they're true to size. I always wear an eight in boots and uh, these are absolutely fine in an eight. Um, so that's comparing them with, I don't know, uh, Red Wings, Thoroughgoods, anything like that. Um, so I'd say true to size. Um, yeah, that's about it. Let's get in for a quick close-up. I'll also show you the, uh, the warranty information in the close-up as well, because uh, you'll be able to read it then. And uh, then we'll wrap it up. Close up. First of all, um, the warranty information. Um, in this little cardboard envelope, you'll get two documents. The first one covers how to activate your warranty. Um, so basically it, I don't know whether you can read this, but basically it tells you to go online and register that code. There's no problem with me showing that code to you, it's absolutely useless um, to you. Um, and I've got another code which I use for my boots, but that's what's in there. So that's about activating warranty. And the other little document is basically just an explanation of all the extra features you get on your four life boots. Um, I touched on most of them, so upgraded uh, leathers, sole, footbed, um, laces, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's a replication or repeats of the information you'll find online. It's quite nice to have it in the package. Not quite sure why I've uh, not had those before. Um, coming into the boot, just a little close up. Nice sort of burgundy leather. Stitching all the way around. That familiar sole pattern. Little for life tab there. The laces, a sort of a waxed lace. Um, as I say, I tend to find that they they don't wear as hard as one would like. Um, little end bit, I can't remember what it's called, someone told me at some point. Uh, triple stitch drain there. Um, inside you've got, it's not lined. Not sure if you can see in there. It's got a nice little removable footbed. Nice little For Life logo on the tongue there. Yeah, let's get them on. Well, I hope that was useful. Um, just a short video, really. If you want to find out more about these products, if you want to see how they wear, um, I'll be doing a review on these in probably about six months just to see how they're doing. If you want to check back on my video, other videos now, um, you'll be able to see how other pairs have worn. Typically very good. As I say, the soles and the tread always wear through a little bit quickly, um, and it'd be not much nicer to have a deeper tread on the bottom there. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, if you haven't seen my channel before, um, please check it out. We might share some like interests. So quality footwear, denim, everyday carrot, carry pen knives, fountain pens, um, coffee making kit, that sort of thing. Check out the channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.